In October 2022, something happened in deep space that immediately made scientists uneasy. A sudden flash ripped through the universe, brighter than anything humanity had ever recorded. That is not exaggeration. For a brief moment, this single explosion released more energy than our sun will emit across its entire 9 billion year lifespan. Gamma ray detectors around the world did not just register it, they were overwhelmed. Some went completely blind, others saturated instantly, unable to process what they were seeing. And this was only the beginning. Within hours, researchers realized this was not just another cosmic event. It was something else entirely. Over the following months, it became the most studied gamma ray burst in history. Scientists gave it a fitting name, the boat, short for brightest of all time. But as data poured in, something felt off. Because the closer scientists looked, the less this explosion behaved like it was supposed to. And that raised a troubling question. What if our understanding of these cosmic explosions was incomplete? Gamma ray bursts themselves are not new. Scientists have been detecting them for decades. Ever since Cold War satellites designed to monitor secret nuclear tests began picking up strange bursts of high-energy radiation coming from far beyond Earth. Since then, these flashes have become one of the most powerful tools in astronomy. They allow scientists to study physics under conditions that simply cannot be recreated on Earth. There are two main types. Short gamma ray bursts last less than two seconds. They are usually caused by neutron stars colliding with each other or merging with black holes. These events can produce kilonovae and help form heavy elements. Long gamma ray bursts last longer than two seconds. These come from the explosive deaths of massive stars. When such a star collapses, it forms a black hole and fires jets of particles across the universe at nearly the speed of light. The boat was clearly a long gamma ray burst. At least that part made sense, but almost everything else did not. First, the duration. The boat lasted nearly 10 full minutes, with an afterglow that remained detectable for hours. That alone was unusual. At roughly 2 billion light-years away, it was incredibly close by cosmic standards. Explosions this bright and this close are thought to occur only once every 10,000 years. To put that into perspective, the last time something like this happened, humans had barely begun farming. And then came the biggest surprise. Based on its brightness, scientists expected the boat to be caused by the collapse of an enormous, extreme star. Something rare. Something violent, even by cosmic standards. But when astronomers aimed the James Webb Space Telescope at the afterglow, the results were shocking. The supernova behind the boat was ordinary. Not weak. Not exotic. Just average. That discovery sent a ripple through the astrophysics community. A normal supernova should not be capable of producing a gamma ray burst 70 times stronger than any ever recorded. The math did not add up, and that forced scientists to consider a different explanation. What if the explosion itself was not special? What if we were? Imagine a flashlight lighting up a dark road. The light spreads out softly in all directions. Now, imagine focusing all of that same light into a narrow laser beam. The total energy does not increase, but if that beam is pointed directly at you, it suddenly appears far more intense. This is one of the leading explanations for the boat. If the collapsing star was spinning incredibly fast, it could have produced jets that were extremely narrow and tightly focused. And if Earth happened to sit directly in the path of one of those jets, the burst would appear dramatically brighter than it truly was. When scientists analyzed the data, they found something remarkable. The jets from the boat were among the narrowest ever observed. That helped explain the brightness, but it did not explain everything. Because even if the beam was perfectly aligned, another problem remained. The particles inside those jets were moving faster and surviving longer than physics predicts they should. After traveling for two billion years, they should have lost much of their energy. They did not. Instead, 
they arrived strong enough to briefly disturb Earth itself. When the boat reached our planet, it pushed Earth's ionosphere downward, producing effects similar to those caused by a major solar storm. For a moment, our atmosphere reacted to an explosion that happened billions of years ago. And that led to an unsettling thought. If something that far away can do this, what happens if something closer explodes? And that was not the strangest part. As the afterglow faded, observatories across the world began comparing results. One facility stood out. The large high-altitude air shower observatory in China recorded something unprecedented. Tens of thousands of ultra-high energy photons were detected, not just during the initial blast, but long after it should have weakened. That immediately raised alarms. According to our current understanding of physics, gamma-ray photons should not survive a journey like that. Over billions of years, they are expected to lose energy by interacting with cosmic background radiation, intergalactic dust, and the expanding universe itself. But the boat's photons arrived intact, and that is where things started to get uncomfortable. Some physicists began exploring a radical idea. What if these photons were not traveling as photons the entire time? What if they transformed into something else during their journey? Something that barely interacts with matter, and then transformed back near Earth? One hypothetical particle fits that description. Axions. Axions are ultra-light particles that are often proposed as candidates for dark matter. They have never been directly observed. And if they exist, they would fall completely outside the standard model of particle physics. The idea is speculative, but intriguing. A photon could convert into an axion, travel vast distances without interference, then convert back into a gamma ray when it encounters a strong magnetic field, like the one surrounding our galaxy. To be clear, this is not confirmed. But the fact that scientists are even considering it shows how strange the boat truly is, and the implications extend far beyond particle physics. Long gamma-ray bursts are associated with collapsers, the formation of black holes from massive stars. These events have also been proposed as one of the universe's sources of heavy elements like gold. Once fusion reaches iron, stars can no longer produce heavier elements efficiently. Those require extreme environments, such as neutron star collisions or possibly collapsers. The boat should have been a perfect candidate. But when scientists examined its spectrum, they found no clear evidence of heavy elements. No gold. No platinum. Nothing. Even more puzzling, the boat's host galaxy turned out to have the lowest metallicity ever observed for a gamma-ray burst environment. In simpler terms, the galaxy may not have had the raw materials needed to produce heavy elements at all. That casts doubt on collapsers as major contributors to the universe's supply of gold. And this is not the first time cosmic observations have challenged our models. There is a long-standing mystery known as the lithium problem. According to Big Bang Theory, the early universe should have produced far more lithium than we actually observe, especially lithium-6 which appears in quantities thousands of times higher than predictions allow. Despite decades of research, the discrepancy remains unresolved. The boat feels similar, a reminder that even our most trusted models are incomplete, that the universe still operates under rules we do not fully understand, that there may be particles we have never detected and processes we have yet to imagine. This explosion was not just bright, it was revealing. It exposed cracks in our understanding of how stars collapse, how elements form, how particles travel across the universe, and how much of reality may still be missing from our equations. Whether the answer lies in undiscovered particles, unknown astrophysical processes, or something even stranger, one thing is clear. The universe is not done surprising us. And sometimes, it takes a single flash lasting just a few minutes to remind us how much we still do not know.